In this video, we'll go through the fourth property of inverse of a function. And the property is very simple to understand. Let's see what it is. F inverse inverse. That means if you have F inverse and you take inverse of that as well, you obtain simply F. That means if you take inverse two times, you get the same function all over again. How to do this, how to solve this, how to understand this with the help of example, let's see that now. Suppose I have a function and the function is a very simple bijective function. So the function that I take fx is equal to 2x plus 3. Let fx is equal to 2x plus 3. Now my task is what? My task is to prove this and to prove this what I will we have to do is I have to find f inverse first. Let's find f inverse x. I know to find f inverse x this y is equal to 2x plus 3. I first need to find out what is the value of x. So y minus 3 upon 2 is equal to x. Now this is x. This is y. I can replace it by f inverse x is equal to x minus 3 upon 2. We have already seen some videos as to how to do this. This gives me inverse f inverse x. So the first step is done. The first step to find the internal value of f inverse is done. But my task was not only this. I had to find inverse again. There is one more minus one. So after doing f inverse x, which can be taken as capital Y, for instance, I have to compute the inverse of this function now, which is x minus 3 upon 2. So let's see how to do the inverse of x minus 3 upon 2. That means let capital Y is equal to x minus 3 upon 2. Now my task is what? My task is to find the value of x again. So the value of x is the value of x is 2y plus 3 which is x. Now I have taken a different y. You may also keep the y as small y only and if this y is small y only here you would be getting small y. It is up to you to keep a different variable or altogether the same one. Now when we found out the inverse 2y plus 3 is equal to x that means f inverse x or f inverse of this function which is the double inverse so that gives me fx only is equal to 2x plus 3 and hence the result 2x plus 3 is the function value which we got now and it was actually the function value with which we started earlier so that means what that means we have got the same function again we started with the function we took inverse of the function and we got the same function again so i can write something like this that if i have a function say fx and i compute some mathematical operations and do the inverse of that function again when i take the inverse I get the same function fx with which I started. So the function with the inverse taken and the inverse obtained again you take the inverse. So both these are basically equal. So in this video we saw how to find out double inverse. And we also saw that there's a property wherein double inverse means getting the same function all over again.